In this video I will show you how to do node locking manually and explain how to use brush, filters and lists to make the node locking process as easy as possible. While on the GTO results screen, click Find Exploits. We have GTO strategies on the matrix. On the left side, there is a toolbar with the node locking tools. I have discussed the profiles in a separate video, so we can skip that for now. Now the active player is highlighted and above the table we see the strategies. Now let's assume that we know the player's tendencies on UTG and we know that he is very aggressive. We can click on hand strength and now we can filter the matrix. So let's say he's never gonna check sets and two pairs. We click decision, we choose the right brush and now we click on the cells of the matrix. Now he will be betting all of his sets and two pairs. Another way of node locking can be done using the list view. So let's suppose that you know your, that your opponent is betting all of his strong hands. You can sort his hands by EV. And now you can choose the right brush and just node lock the strongest hands uh, using the list view. The custom brush allows you to lock mix strategies. So if we want to make the player play of a mix of check and bet in a frequency of 50-50, we can create a brush like this and then node lock accordingly. Brush aggressive increases the proportion of bets and raises of that on, a, on a given hand and passive checks and faults. Brush GTO allows you to lock strategies as GTO. To lock the entire matrix as GTO, you can also click lock all as GTO. White padlocks mean uh, block strategies changed by user and uh, black padlocks mean strategies locked as GTO. When you are done with node locking, click Calculate. Deep Solver will now look for the optimal strategy, taking into account that the strategies with the padlocks will remain unchanged.